Hey everyone, in this video, we'll be solving this problem that came in JE Advanced 2023 paper 2. So in this problem, we are given a circular coin that is tossed up in the air by imparting an impulse. But in this case, the impulse is offset by a distance of r by 2 from the center. So we know the coin is going to rotate about this axis and also translate up with some velocity v. So we are required to find the number of oscillations n that the coin will complete before it comes back to its original position. So that's the question. So moving on to the solution, we'll be using the fact that the impulse provided to an object would be equal to the change in momentum produced. So let's assume uh, the after the impulse being provided, the coin translates up with a velocity of v0 and it starts rotating about this axis passing perpendicular to the plane of the paper and uh, with an angular velocity of omega0. It starts rotating with an angular velocity of omega0. So the initial momentum uh, of the coin is obviously zero as it is at rest and the final momentum we can just write it as m times the velocity of center of mass which is just v0 in this case. So from that, we'll get our first equations, uh, or basically we'll get V0. Now the second fact that we'll be using is the angular impulse imparted would be equal to the change in angular momentum of the body. Now the angular impulse is simply the moment of uh, the impulse, moment of impulse about the axis of rotation. So which in this case would be just J times R by two. And that would be equal to the angular momentum of the body, which in this case is simply I times omega naught. Okay. And also as this is, as the axis of rotation is passing through the diameter of the disc, the value of moment of inertia would be MR squared by four. So once we substitute all those values in, we'll get the values of value of omega naught as two J by MR. Okay, another important fact is that if we look at, if we observe the axis of rotation, there is no extra, there is no torque acting on the body because the only force that is acting on this object is, is the weight of the object. And that will produce no torque on it because it passes through the axis of rotation. And hence we can say the alpha or the angular acceleration of the coin is zero, which means the omega remains constant. And hence, for a body rotating with constant omega, we know the time period for one rotation is simply two pi by omega. Now, we know the number of total number of rotations is n. So we can say the total time taken for the entire journey would be n times two pi by omega. Okay. So now if we look at the kinematics of the motion, we can just say, uh, if we can just assume the coin to be a point mass, that is thrown up with a velocity v0 and we know the time that an object that is thrown up with a velocity v0 takes to come back and that would be 2 v0 by g from the simple results obtained from kinematics. Now all we have to do is just equate these two time periods as both of them are the same. So substituting the value of v0 and omega into this, we'll get the answer of n as 30. So that's it. Thank you.